I want to take you on a journey into schizophrenic episodes, the etiology of which I'll begin with with a five-year-old uh, trauma inducing uh, emasculation, humiliation, slight physical abuse, as well as betrayal by the parental authorities. That led to something you might call a psychotic break or you might call a spiritual experience. I'll let you decide when I was six years old following the trauma on our way to Rio de Janeiro. Um, I'll follow it up with uh, what I always thought was my original trauma, being sexually abused by uh, older boys in a gang when I was uh, nine years old and then on to um, adolescence. Uh, when I was 17, I spent a month-long uh, lust relationship with a passing transsexual in 1965 in Brooklyn, New York. Not an easy thing to find. I had the lowest average in, uh, in my high school to win a New York State Region Scholarship, which got me letters of congratulations from the mayor and Governor Rockefeller and made my mother very proud. I got D's my first year in college, so the uh, guidance counselor said Region Scholarship winners should not flunk out. Take a year off. I saw a shrink. Um, I saw a shrink while I was seeing the transsexual. One day, woke up after about a month uh, of 17-year-old lust with uh, Brandy, and I had slept over, and I saw the shadow, five o'clock shadow on her face, and I thought, this is just a boy with Dr. Tits, and I didn't hate her, but I just no longer had any desire for her, and I became extremely adept with the opposite sex and uh, moved into the Greenwich Village in 1967 with a stripper girlfriend. Went back to college uh, after my shrink had introduced me to Timothy Leary. And I got hooked up with Purple Owsley from uh, guys in sports jackets and jeans from Yale. And um, had the trip and had to live in girlfriend and then I got hit with my K-Fed and went into schizophrenic episodes and this is my story. I know it must sound bizarre when I say I found my K-Fed, which of course I'm referring to Kevin Federline who introduced uh, Britney Spears to madness. Um, and they'll think, what is this old man doing paralleling his breakdown with a, a, a young 22-year-old superstar? He must be nuts. Well, I was, but that's not the point. You see, what, what Sullivan is talking about, Dr. Harry Stack Sullivan, who had an 85% success rate with schizophrenics, was talking about on page 359 of Interpersonal Theory of Psychiatry regarding special cases where a person is taken advantage of in such a manner that his dissociated motivations, his dissociated state, raise up into his consciousness and introduces him to a schizophrenic episode. And nobody in psychiatry has been able to show this in the manner that I will. And you'll see why I speak of Britney Spears, and, and it's with uh, uh, love and admiration and sympathy uh, for what she's gone through, uh, and more than a bit of empathy for what she's gone through. None of us who have gone into uh, a psychotic or schizophrenic episode can remember what we were like beforehand in the manner of our personality and its interactions with other people. But if they were caught on video, then you could see how you were diminishing yourself and allowing someone else to get power over you, and that will help you come out of the disabled state that that behavior sent you into. Damn it, I'm not gonna sit back and watch her be turned into a cabbage by the incompetence 
of those around her.